are inside of a moldy, abandoned bowling alley with almost everything left behind. Almost no vandalism, it appears. And all natural, leaky decay. There's even gym equipment here. We're gonna go explore and see what else it has. I think a, I think a bar too. Wasn't that a bar when we walked in? Yeah, there's a bar over there. Or food court maybe. Where you get it has food. everything a standard bowling alley would have, but it also has gym equipment. Interesting. So there's that. So let's see what's going on. The gym equipment is in really good shape, actually. Like, you know, it's pretty clean. It just looks like he's kind of like storing it because it's not like stage. I guess it's been moved over the years, maybe. I don't know. Whoever did own this place was definitely trying to sell it or trying to get it back to its original glory. I'm not sure. I don't really know what the story is on this. But um, there is a for sale sign out there right now. But the side door is wide open. And I don't think anything in here is worth any bit of value at this point. It's all been broken and or rotten away. It's not, nothing in here is really any good or a value to anybody that would want to buy a place like this. So I'm not really sure what they would do with it. The building's not even in that great a shape either. So I'm really not sure what they would do with this place. Kind of weird. Because when they did leave it, it was a cool place. The most severe damage has been caused by the bad roof. There's a flat roof up there. There's probably a pool of water collected from snow and rain that we're recently having. And you can see it in the middle of this alley right here. There's just a huge puddle of water and you can hear it dripping all over the place. Right there. These lanes are still in really, really good shape. Some of them still really shiny. Those four over there have been stripped halfway. The other ones have some water damage down there. There's water in these alleys right here. It's all collected right in here.
these are the last of the ball returns. Basically the alleys that they've stripped of all their hardwood, they for some reason left the ball returns. So, as you can see, all these Those are all the old ball return slots. They took them all out. And these are the only ones left over. For whatever reason. I don't know. But I've seen these before. These are probably some of the ones that are in the best condition actually. But a lot of the internals have been removed. So I guess they took what they needed. And left these or somebody didn't buy them really wonder sometimes why all this stuff gets left behind. The bowling balls, the shoes, the lane equipment, TVs, in this case gym equipment. I, I really wonder what happened to the people that owned all this stuff or what happened to their lives or if they died or whatever that just made them leave this stuff because it's seemingly valuable stuff and you probably could have sold it or at least just giving it away rather than let it you know sit here and rot and go to waste it really makes you wonder sometimes what happened in these people's lives that just made them leave valuable things behind a whole bowling alley just left behind I've always wondered what the inside of a bowling ball looked like. Now I know. I learn something new every day. It's pretty cool. This is where they used to clean the balls.
Are all the control boards for the lanes. You'd switch these, you'd switch the switches, and all the TVs would go on, show the scores, show how many games you played, all that stuff. There's a counter on here, it counts all your games and all that stuff, so they know what to charge you, how long you've been here for, all that good stuff.
everything in this backside is completely ruined because of this giant hole in the roof over here. All the other ones are pretty small. This is huge. Everything all collapsing in on itself. Stinks over here. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this was the abandoned bowling alley. Still a lot left here to explore. Still a lot to see. So I can get a pretty good picture of what was going on here. A lot of bowling leagues. Seems like they had a lot of fun back in its heyday. I like bowling. I like bowling too. It was fun. Yeah. We should go bowling. Maybe. One day. <laughs> One day. We've never been bowling before. Not together, no. Um, we've, how long have we been together? Almost about eight, eight years. years. And we've never been bowling together. So. It's okay. Mm. We've done just about everything else together. So, maybe we'll have to go bowling together. This is the first time we've been in a bowling alley together. So, there you go. You guys witnessed. Well, the first time we've ever been in a actually no yeah, we've been into we've like been psychiatric another, yeah, ward bowling alleys hotel bowling alleys <laughs> things like that so this, this is, is like the, the official, first yeah yeah actual standalone bowling alley yeah so <laughs> yeah there's always that and uh we hope you guys enjoyed this explore as always and uh we'll see you at the next one peace peace